Good morning year two. Today we're continuing our work with thirds and today we're going to look at how to find a third. But before we get started we need to warm our brains up so we're going to answer our four anchor questions. Okay so read the four questions, pause the screen now, try and answer them, come back and we will look at them together. So question one. What is one quarter of 20? Write your answer in words. I would have drawn four groups because I know that when I'm looking at quarters I have four groups and I would have shared 20 objects between four groups and then counted up one of the groups and that would have given me the answer five. Number two, true or false, one half is shaded. So it's asking me if one out of two parts is shaded. Well, yes but they are not equal. And remember, it's really important that when we look at fractions, we make sure the parts are equal. And I can see that this shaded part is much bigger than the non-shaded part at the bottom. So false, one half is not shaded. Question three wants you to draw a rectangle. Remembering a rectangle has got two shorter sides and two longer sides. And question four, which number is the next in this sequence? 25, 30, 35, it would be 40. These are multiples of five. They are the numbers in our five times table. Okay, so here is a whole chocolate bar. And I've drawn a, bowl, a bar model with the value of nine, because there are nine pieces of chocolate in my bar. It's a very big chocolate bar I've got here. Now, if I put my chocolate bar in my bar model like this, it fills it because they are the same value. Now, I have hidden it. Okay, so I just need to draw the lines back over, but there is a line here and a line here because my chocolate bar is split in two thirds so one third of nine would be three because there are three in each of the sections they are three equal parts of nine dexter and ron are circling one third of a group of objects and they think to themselves, what is the whole? So you need to remember that the whole is the amount that you start with or the whole shape. So to find the whole, we need to count the objects. So for Dexter, he has got octopus. So let's count them. Remember, it's always useful to cross things out as we count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine so the whole for dexter is nine and let's see about ron and his fish so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine so dexter has also got nine. So the whole for them is nine. Okay. Dexter and Ron have some buns. Dexter would like half of the buns and Ron would like a third of the buns. So we need to find half and third, okay. So I've got some counters here and I'm going to arrange them the same way the buns are arranged, okay? Just like this. So these counters represent the buns that Dexter and Ron are talking about. So you could draw them out too if you want to do it along with me. Now, Dexter would like half. So we know that when we are looking for a half, we are looking for two groups. 
and only looking at one of those groups. So I need to split the buns into two groups. I'm going to split them straight down the middle here. And if I do that, I need to just check that I've got equal groups. So here I've got two, four, six. And on the other side, I've got two, four, six. Because there are 12 buns in total. So one half of the buns is six. So now what I'm going to do is take away my line and go back to the buns, okay? So, this time Ron would like a third of the buns. So we need to remember that when we're looking at one third, we want group three groups. Now how can I do that? I'm going to look at splitting my array, my buns, into three vertically, just like I did with the half. So if I do this, I've got one, two, three, four. Oh, I can't do that. That's four groups, and I don't want four groups. I want three groups. So I need to get rid of those. Let's try horizontally. One, two, three. I've got three groups. I just need to look at one of the groups. So I'm just going to take the top group. I have got four. So I know that one third of the buns is four. Okay. So today, bronze, you are going to use the images to complete the statement. So they've circled some of the shapes for you and they need you to tell them what a third of the amount is. So count up in the circles. Then your next set, you need to circle them yourselves and then complete the statement. Then you need to use the pictures that they have given you, they're like little arrays, to complete the question. So one third of 15 is, so you will use the smiley faces to help you work it out and write your answer in the box. And then a bit like my big chocolate bar, you need to use the counters to complete the bar model. So you need to share the counters out to find a third. Silver, you've got questions one to three on the silver and gold sheet. So if you do those, I'd quite like you to move on to gold today as well. So you have got my chocolate bar, okay? And you need to draw the lines to share it equally and then complete the sentences and then complete the bar model by sharing it. Then you've got some images and you need to circle one third of each group. And then you've got to circle a third of each of the items and complete the number sentences. Gold, you've also only got three questions today. So if you feel confident enough, I'd like you to have a go at one or two of the platinum questions, please. So question four for you. One third of a number is four. What is the number? So I would complete the image and then work it out. And then you've got Teddy and Mo who have got a third of nine pounds and half of eight pounds. Who's got more money? I'd like you to draw this out and show me how you've worked that out, please. And then Whitney snaps two sticks into thirds, but she's only showing you a third. You need to work out how long the stick was before it was snapped. So look at where it is on the ruler and work out how many pieces you would need and then add those numbers up. And platinum, you have got, Matthew has read a third of his comic books and he's got 12 left to read. How many is he already read? So these are quite tricky and it's the same with the oranges. Then you can use the digit cards to make the statements correct. You can use some of them twice if you need to. I would draw out pictures or do your working out to support you because that will really help. And then you've got to tell me whether the children are correct. So Adil makes 27 pancakes. He wants to share them equally between three friends. And then this is what he says. Is he correct? And the same with Grace. 
as always if you are stuck with anything because today's work is quite tricky you can email me or miss smith and we will help you as much as we can